is this hour and the warning from the UK's CCTV chief that the UK is sleepwalking into a surveillance state. Well, I'm now joined by Steve Jolly of the No to CCTV campaign. So, Steve, Hello, here, here is the CCTV commissioner himself saying there are too many cameras, so you must be happy with his observations? Well, the reporting of this story has been quite confused, um, and the message that he's putting out is, is also quite confusing. Um, he ha one of the things he's said is that the, there are too many cameras in Britain and we should get rid of some of them, but what he's really talking about is getting rid of the old ones, the old useless ones, and upgrading them to high-definition internet protocol cameras um, that are linked to the web. He, he's really talking about a massive upgrade in surveillance. He's certainly not talk about diminishing, limiting and restricting uh, the, this increasing uh, power of the camera surveillance networks. Well, what's the problem so, with upgrading? Not... What's, what, what's the problem with that? I mean, surely if you ask people out in the street how bothered they are about these cameras, whether in shopping centres or wherever, that most of them would actually say, well, we're happy because they make us feel safer. When people from overseas visit Britain, they're shocked at the number of CCTV cameras and they're also quite surprised that um, UK citizens don't seem to mind and they don't seem bothered. I, I think the British public has come to accept CCTV as just something that's just there. They don't really question it. Uh, most people are quite apathetic about it. A lot of people do support it because they believe what they've been told. They believe that it fights crime and keeps you safe. Unfortunately, there's a lot of research, most of it in fact, that shows that's not the case. The crime-fighting claims have been exaggerated. OK, can you give the, us the main um, problems then? I mean, uh, it, is, is it intrusion? Because when you think about all the intrusion supposedly going on with the GCHQ intruding into computers and communications, actually appearing on some sort of CCTV camera, that, that's really not really what's going to bother us these days, is it? Well, you see, this is the problem. A lot of people, they don't really understand what we're talking about. Uh, people still use the phrase CCTV, which, me which is meant to mean closed circuit television. We're now talking about open circuit with software running behind the feeds, analysing it with computer al algorithms to detect suspicious or abnorm abnormal behaviour, to predict behaviour. Uh, we have automatic number plate recognition. We have facial recognition. All this stuff is coming in, and it's a part of the digital revolution that Theresa May described a couple of years ago. It, basically, we're, we're on the cusp of a massive upgrade. CCTV is about to become quite scary, and people don't realise the capability. There is something they should fear, and that is a fundamental threat, not just to our privacy, but to our uh, um, fundamental freedoms. Uh, if you are uh, constantly tracked and monitored, if everything you do has got to be recorded, I, I don't think you can really say that you live in a free society. But, but really, Steve, I mean, you and I are one of hundreds in a shop centre, would we really be worried about being analysed and scrutinised? Because surely 99.9% .9 of the people actually appear on a CCTV camera are of absolute no interest to anybody. Well, that's an assumption. I mean, uh, you know, you, you're assuming that, that, that um, uh, camera systems, the people that write the algorithms, the software, the people that are monitoring them, people that are responding to alerts, uh, are only interested in bad guys. But increasingly we see the British police turning into a sort of intelligence agency, what they call intelligence-led policing. They so want isn't to get as much information safe, about people. Yeah, all that information, though, I mean, is it not safe because it is with the authorities? Can we not trust them? It, it places far too great a burden of trust. Um, you know, this, this, this awesome power of this, this, this next generation CCTV Uber network that we're going to see c coming up gives more power than a, a good man should want and a bad man should have. And uh, if we trust the authorities to have this sort of power and this depth of knowledge and scrutiny of our lives, then I think we're naive and foolish and we really need to consider uh, Will our children be living in a free society? And I, I think the answer is no, unless this is, uh, this is stopped and rolled back. And will that likely happen, do you think, stopped and rolled back? That's what your campaign is calling for. Just briefly, what sort of success do you think you could have here? Well, what uh, the Surveillance Camera Commission is attempting to do at the moment is the manufacturing of consent. On the one hand, he's saying uh, this is all about to get a bit scary. It's really intrusive, high-tech and extreme, just so as you know. So he's saying, right, I'm t we're telling you about this. The government's telling us um, so that we can't later say, well, we didn't know. Um, but um, on the other hand, he's saying, well, don't worry, leave it to me. I'll, I'll write some rules and regulations so you needn't worry. So what's going on here is, is basically the manufacturing of consent. And the government's already produced a slogan called Surveillance by Consent, which they claim uh, applies to Britain. 
And, uh, you know, so now is the time that during this exercise, the manufacturing of consent, now's the time to withdraw that consent and say, no, we don't agree with where this is going. It's too extreme and it's time to stop and rethink. Steve Jolly from the No CCTV campaign live on RTUK. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, Bill.